Wait, wrong game. Ah, uh, so we've got more Yoshi's Island to play because, um, yeah, ROM hacks. Anyways, now we're gonna go check out this castle that has been daunting us since last time or something like that. This seems like it's going a little faster than usual, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to playing this for some reason. Despite the fact that it hasn't been that long. You got a little cute little ghosty guy. Too bad he has to die. It's always a shame when you have to kill somebody. At least I'm assuming as such. I've never actually done that before. It's kind of illegal. I mean, I mean, I know not many people know that, but... Also, chains hurt Yoshi because his mother was attacked by a chain when he was younger, and it traumatized him ever since. At least that's what I've been told. I mean, I don't exactly know. Nobody really knows. That lava is dangerous. Do not touch it. It will kill you, I think. I honestly can't remember. Hasn't been too long since I played Vanilla Yoshi's Island, but I know that what we're trying to attempt here is not going to be simple. Especially with this, um, fallen chain that just happened to casually murder me, but, you know, we got two lives left. We can do this, can't we? Also, I forgot to even read the title of the level. I'm just like, yeah, there's a boo guy and he's going to be the boss. And uh, it's going to be a lot like that one boss from New Super Mercy Land, but I can actually... Get Maybe handle it? Who knows? I guess we will find out later! Whoa! Risky. That's very risky, but it seems like a way you could do that, possibly. I don't know. Maybe I should keep my eggs around and see if I can aim them at the little hoovesies. Hoovesies. I'm getting my, um, equine studies mixed up with my, um... Actually, there's... I don't know exactly what the study of Yoshi's is, but... This is the study of how to get a game over fairly easily in a ROM hack. Although, I don't really approve of that whole message. So, um... Yeah. Also, if you can look very closely, you can see the Would You Like to Continue text before it ever shows up properly. Now then, let's stop being such silly people and actually try to... complete the level and get everything that we're looking for. And that is exactly how you do it. Ghosty ghost. I can't believe the ghosts are after me. Apparently the lava's after me too, because I can't figure this part out. It's just ridiculous. I mean, really. Okay, let's do this the right way. We're not going to try going down there and getting the coins, because we have our green boots on, and they are not lava-proof. Despite what I keep telling myself. Now, let's see if we can get the right trajectory. Hooray! What do you know? There is an easy way to do this. Now, just gotta dodge everything, hopefully. It's hard to do, but Yoshi gets a fairly large check every so often from the dodging police. Or, at least, if I wanted to make a car joke, the company that creates the Dodge Motor Vehicle. At least, I'm assuming it's a Dodge Motor Vehicle. They usually call it a car. Did that... I thought these guys could f actually fly. Apparently not. And as per usual, watch out for falling lava, even though it's not really falling, it's more of a stream, but hey. Who is going to judge me otherwise? Mario, come on, man. You get your own time to sit and cry at home. You don't need to do it in public. It's so rude of you. Anyways, so far, so good after my... Um, forgetfulness of how to properly play this game. Now, there's some worrying in the fact that there are spikes on the floor, and there's also some worrying from that door that is over there, but... Um, I don't think we can make it up there. Although, this ghost is giving me issues, so I'm going to take care of him. I'm not going to call any Ghostbusters, though, because why would you? Yoshi is good enough at it, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't personally throw eggs at them, but hey. There's the fuzzy dude who can be immune to spikes. Maybe we need him. Maybe we'll eventually go through a pipe to go see him. What is in this door but a uh, flower? And I'm assuming it wants me to do that. Although, I can't really tell. Okay, there. We got everything. That's good. We got everything there anyway, and that star for some reason didn't count. Yoshi just ate nothing. You are a strange boo. You've got like, oh, you're the boo family. Okay. 
Everybody meet the Boo family. They are here in town for a week and they drop a lot of stars. Uh, is the bottom of the lava supposed to be black like that? I mean, I know in nature it tends to be about that color, but um, mostly in video games they get the color wrong, but most of the time the color they get wrong is when they're doing it in the outdoor location where in nature it tends to be kind of a black color. I'm no expert in geology or anything here, but molten rock tends to not be this color of red. And the thought of having the um, mouthful of fire dude is not ah, appealing in the slightest. However, I'm concerned about that red coin and the Boo family who is back again for vacation. And I just realized I made a huge mistake there. But it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. I guess here's as good a place as any to start back from. And now we can actually see what we were trying to do before. Where I just happened to get lucky and got all the coins at one go. But, I mean, I don't know. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to do this the way that we've done it before. Thankfully it does give us quite a few stars if we get them all together at the same time. But, you know. Now, I'm hoping that this time we won't have any colossal obstructions of justice, because I really don't want to have my justice obstructed unless I can vouch for it or something. I don't know. There's a joke in there somewhere, I suppose, but I don't remember where it is. And I think this is the log where- yeah. Whoops. The log of death. But if you stand on the edge of it, it goes faster. I don't know how that works. Okay, um... Ghost Car- not Ghost Carousel. I'm thinking Ghost Carousel. I guess I'm just thinking Mario 64 for no reason. I mean, this is clearly Mario 64. You can tell from the lush 3D graphics and, uh... Wait, even I don't think that the graphics for Mario 64 were that great. Even back in the day, I didn't think they were that great. I mean, I guess they work for the style of the game, but I... I've never personally cared for Mario 64 that much. Okay, so we have a bonefish who's swimming in the lava because if I was a bonefish, that's where I'd swim. Actually, I don't think any Mario game really has any of the, um, dry, quote-unquote, enemies ever swimming in lava. I mean, lava tends to kill them somehow. I mean, just run that through your logic meter and tell me if it makes any sense. Is there any... Well, there's an invisible pipe up here, but other than that, is there anything up here? Is this just a bonus town with a lot of coins and booze if you want to really get stars? One-ups are appreciated, so I'm not going to complain. But I keep wondering if any of these booze are hiding anything behind them. So far, it doesn't seem like it. This just seems like a room to get coins and, uh, glitchy graphics. But coins and stars, because, like, you know, the boo thing, but I'm not going to bother with it right now because, for one, I'm low on eggs, and for two, my aim is horrible. So now that we've accidentally stumbled upon that, let's go into the actual route that we were supposed to meant to go on. Supposed to meant to. Actually, I'm beginning to wonder if the original room that we were in before had anything in it. More stars, I suppose, are appreciated, but we can go back in the pipe if we really want to. Just in case you wanted to go say hi to that fire bar again, you know, you never know. And we can also get an extra egg because eggs are important. Eggs are good for you, but I don't like them that much because they are nasty to me. And just as I thought, we're going to get our little squishy friend who is a friend because anybody who is willing to take a spike for you is a friend. At least that's what I have been told. I don't know. What have you been told about spiky friends that jump on spikes? Well, not spiky friends, but squishy friends. Sounds like a really, really terrible name for a TV series for children. Squishy friends. Hey, self! You know it would be a good button to press? For no reason in particular? Um, the duck button, because ducking is good. Especially when you're a goose. Okay. As you can see, our little guy who is now attached to our feet, Yoshi has stepped in some gum, and he is now immune to the spikes. Well, whoops. That wasn't a very good choreographed dance, if you ask me, but whatever. 
I'm actually curious if the coin room has the coins come back, so I'm gonna cut to there after eating this ghost before he tries to take more stars away from me and see. Surprise, there weren't any coins there anymore. So, let's hopefully not have anything go terribly wrong with our purple guy who is wearing shoes that are apparently less susceptible to spike penetration. And some reason I was not... I don't know. I don't like this level that much. Mostly because of the booze coming after me while I'm on my squishy friend, and I don't like my squishy friend being abused. Sorry, I had to do that. Um... I don't suppose that's a preferred method to get rid of ghosts. Hmm. Maybe... Well, it's, it's not necessarily the problem the fact that the ghosts are everywhere, it's just the problem that the squishy guy kind of limits your abilities a tad bit. Just a tad, because if he goes off screen, I th am pretty sure he despawns, and I really don't want to figure that out the hard way. Especially considering the route to getting here. Now, I'm hoping that I can just get rid of the booze so I can just take the Squishy Express elsewhere. Oh, hey Squishy friend, you actually came and helped you there. Help you actually came and helpful there. Although, I am curious about what the rest of this level entails with you. Now, I don't really want to figure out the whole trying to eat the egg while not killing myself thing, so I'm not going to. Now, that's going to be a tricky jump, I think. And this is looking more and more impossible by the day. Well, it's only been one day, but you know. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> this is going well, I know you can tell. So, I'm probably going to end up cutting most of this out. And uh, apparently Yoshi does swallow enemies after a while. I'd forgotten about that. Well, now the real challenge here is going to be getting into that little space there. So, I suppose if I don't make it into there on this attempt... Then I will just cut to when I actually do make it in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut. First time off camera, I make it. And there is a key that I assume we want to get. And a flower that I also assume that we want to get. However, I don't think our squishy friend will let us exactly... Um, what's the word? Whoops. That went exactly as planned. What are you talking about? Okay. Maybe this is the way you do it? Okay. That was stressful, kind of. I don't know why. Mostly because of instant death spikes. I guess it's just a psychological thing, because even though I have the squish... squish guy, it's not exactly... filling. Okay, so the squishy guy is not immune to lava, that's good to know. Uh, is this a door we want to go into? I don't know. This takes us to a sewer. And... Um... Why can't I flutter? I want to flutter! I just want to flutter! Like, sometime, possibly. Come on, I know this jump is possible. It has to be possible. I saw the raven guy. How am I supposed to get Mario back while he's up there? Ugh, Mario, why? <laughs> this isn't fair! <laughs> Help me! If you ask me, that was a bit of an oversight on the author's part. I mean, how is that even close to being fair? But now I'm wondering if that space is where we wanted to go or not. Uh, God, so many choices. Let's go in this door and see what happens. Okay, we get taken to another room with a mummy block. And a flower. 
So we got all the flowers now. We're missing four red coins and 20 stars, but I don't really think I can attribute the stars to myself. Well, I've only got five more to get. And it looks like we want to take this path with the mummy block over to these areas, but I don't have any um, eggs to throw at Magma Guy. Don't kill me, please. Ah! Oh. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I've used a save state load because some parts of this level just are not that well designed because honestly, you should not make areas where Mario can get stuck and then if you accidentally eat the raven, then, like, it completely counts against you and you're suddenly screwed. So, we've got a boo that we need to take care of because he's got a boo-boo and we gotta take care of it because that's funny apparently, not really though. So, as I change pitches back to my regular voice pitch, I'm going to hope... Not enough. Wow, I actually made it up here with just flutter jumping, but even still, this is still just... I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if the controls didn't, like... When you jump out of the water here, it doesn't let you press the flutter button. Like, if you hold down the jump button normally, Yoshi would flutter jump, but here he doesn't. Like here, here's the example. I'm just holding down the jump button. If I had the button indicator thing, I think that SNE the SNES does that. Then I could show you that I was just holding the jump button there, but I mean, like, just take my word for it. I still don't think that's good design, because it... I don't know. I... I just don't know. For the sake of my sanity, I'm putting a save state because... yeah. These guys... I'm pretty sure they insta-kill you with their magma stream, so I'd rather not have to deal with that if possible. I mean, they're kind of easy enough to deal with, but at the same time, you don't really want to. It's like... Your in-laws, I guess you could say, if you want to be stupid, but, uh, I guess we'll see. So, there's Salvo... not Salvo... is it Salvo? I don't remember, honestly. Oh. Neat. I didn't know they had generators for those in Yoshi's Island. At least I'm assuming they're generators. Hmm. It's an enemy you don't see a whole lot often in Yoshi's Island, but, eh. Let's see how many times I can say the words in Yoshi's Island. Um, I guess it's a spot where you can farm for eggs, and we need a key? Whoops. Oh, the key's not down there. And I gained extra lives apparently somewhere along the line. Hmm. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I have even less sympathy for the author because this is a required path from what I can tell. Since you need two keys, if there is a thing there, I don't care. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. If you ask me, if the author isn't gonna play fair, why should I? Anyways, I think I know where a key might be. And I think our little ghosty friend, foe guy here is hiding such a device. Or at least a key. So let's find out. I a key? A key? Haha. Uh -huh. Why are there crates here? Well, obviously not for that. There's a key and stars. So if everything goes well, I should have enough stars. But I am probably gonna lose a ton of them after the boss. Oh, and that's just rude. <laughs> This is rude. Oh well. I wonder where that particular um, sewer exit leads, actually. I'm gonna find out. Gonna Running through the 90s. I don't know why I always think that when I see a character running. Anyways, let's see where this goes. And I've... Before I rudely cut myself off. Oh. Wow, that was worth it. Key, key, key. Where's the key? It's right here. And this should be the end of the level because I have everything and those enemies are working together and I do not like it. 
This is not how you gain workers' rights. And you're not even going to be nice enough to give us a midpoint for the boss. Thanks, author guy. That just makes me boil over with confidence. Oh well, here's hoping that I don't get hit. At all. Just in case, I really don't want to do that again. That level's kind of BS, to be honest. And here we have a boss that needs to be hit. This is Bruce! Hello, Bruce! This is Bruce, Bruce, and Bruce! And, um, we all graduated from the University of Australia. And, uh, that's a Monty Python reference there, because I had to get that out of there, because when I hear the word Bruce, I think of that. And, would you look at that? Bat generators in this game? No! Never. So, you hit the boo basically like you hit any other boo in this game, but instead of hitting him... ...and, uh, not being able to do much afterwards, you can hit him and not really have any consequences left over. And that's another annoying thing about the bats in this game, is that when an egg hits them, it goes right through them because they are not, um, crap. Well, they're not crap, but they're also not... that's not what I wanted to do. Give me stars, or give me... less... Mario. Ugh. This is not going the best. It's not going as well as it could. I wonder how many more hits he has left in him. Maybe if I get lucky, I can... Stupid bat! Whoops. That went well. Okay, let's try this again. Oh no, there's a ghost behind me! What am I gonna do? Alright, Bruce! My name isn't Bruce, though. That's gonna get confusing. Um... Hmm. I should link that clip. And then they can, uh, extradite me to the UK to try me for linking to copyright infringing material. Isn't that right, uh... Guy who I've forgotten the name of because I don't think of that that often. Although I still think it is complete bullcrap because he was just linking to stuff. It's like, yeah, whatever. Although I am in no spot to talk about whether or not I think legality crap is fair or not because I am not a lawyer. Or at least I am not legally a lawyer. Now, this appears to be going fairly well. So let's see how many times I can screw it up. I almost screwed it up there. Thankfully, I haven't quite yet. Just need a couple of more eggs, and I do believe this boo will be exterminated. Yoshi, gotta take care of that drug problem. Whoops! Oh, come on! How many hits does this guy have? They changed that? My Yoshi has a first name, it's C-H-E-E-S-E. -E -E. My Yoshi has a second name, it's this boss. Yeah, cheese this boss. No one ever said that his mother was very creative or talented. You're getting a little, uh, large there, boo. Might wanna see a doctor about that. And we have finished the level, finally. After much cheesing and cheating, but hey. Like I said, author is not gonna play fair, why should I? So that is it for this part, because I have a feeling this is gonna be a fairly long episode, even with editing, so... Hopefully this episode is better than the ones in the past. I've just been really tired when I record these usually, but today I just feel super alive, so I felt like doing this. And hopefully it is better as a result. Next time we're gonna go see Lakitu. Hopefully.